Hi, I'm Alistair, and I'm going to talk to you today about how to use the swivel to record your lectures, uh, including your slides and video, uh, simultaneously. So, what do we need to do this? Well, you'll need a swivel unit, obviously, and this is what we're recording on right now, and I'm demonstrating its ability to move by moving. So, you'll need one of these, and you'll need a recording device. Uh, we tend to use uh, Apple products. Uh, iPads seem to fit the bill nicely as well as a lightning to HDMI cable and an HDMI cable. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to download the Swivel app. Uh, go on to your iPad, get on to Wi-Fi, and download and sign up. Now, before you go any further, uh, you need to think about the slides you are going to use in your recording. Uh, should you want to have a certain configuration where you've got slides and then this video inside the slides, then you'll need to alter the way you've spaced out the information on your slide. Okay, so once you've done that, the next thing to do is to actually get the slides onto Swivel. Uh, now you'll need to go onto your computer, your desktop, or your laptop to do so. Go onto the Swivel Cloud website and drag and drop your PowerPoint uh, file uh, into the appropriate box there. Unfortunately, those of you who have video or animations in your PowerPoints, you will not be able to use them. The Swivel doesn't recognize these as yet. When the file is being processed by the Swivel Cloud, uh, it then becomes available on the Swivel app on your iPad, and all you need to do is press present, and away you go. Now, if you're actually using this recording not in the way I am, where I'm just recording myself and using the slides, as a prompt, then you'll want to mirror. Now, there's two ways of going about this. There's the easy way and the hard way, and we're just going to talk about the relatively easy way today. Uh, the harder way is wirelessly, and I've got a setup there in the picture where I've done that, and that involves using uh, Apple TV. The unit doesn't do any recording, so you need the iPad, as I said before, to do the recording itself. Um, all it does is basically track you. That's what it does. Um, now, the unit can be turned on just by pressing the button to the right. You'll need to connect it to uh, Bluetooth, so turn a Bluetooth on on your iPad and search for Swivel and make that connection. Once it's connected, this button on the left will go green. And the controller microphone is what I'm holding here. It has three purposes. Uh, it has a, a microphone. You can probably hear me louder than you, than you were. Uh, it's a tracker, which is what the it tracks and not the individual and this can bring uh, certain issues when you're recording so if I move around too much and too close to the uh, swivel unit it can be distracting so I do recommend that you use a lanyard you can slot it in there wear it around your neck and you don't need to think about this as much the other thing is that it's a slide advancer so I can go back and forth uh, with these buttons we need to connect it to our recording device the iPad and we need to think about plugging in the audio. If you don't plug the 3.5 mil jack into the iPad, sound, uh, the recording, will come through the iPad itself and not through the mic, and it will be rubbish. Uh, when I was uh, taking these pictures, I found some boxes to, to uh, put the iPad on, on top of, iPad and swivel on top of, to make it uh, so that it was elevated and it wasn't looking so far from, from the ground, looking straight up. Um, if you have a tripod, even better. That's what I'm using right now. Um, the other consideration is how close you're planning on being to the uh, unit. If you're too close, it tends to um, try and find you a lot. It tends to move around up and down, left and right, and it can be distracting for individuals watching the recording. Uh, you'll need to connect it to whatever system it is that you're recording in. So uh, at our university, uh, we have a uh, console which uh, has a, usually a VGA or an HDMI cable or input uh, and we uh, have to select this on the uh, controller unit. How we go about doing this depends again on, on the configuration of the room but generally there's a button you press like laptop or VGA or HDMI and it's also on the screen and you should be at this point mirroring. Now in order to do so, if I go back a little bit, you'll see in the picture at the bottom right is the lightning cable which connects to the VGA or the HDMI which then connects to, to the, the console. 
one of the final steps is then to uh, set this up and turn it on. I, I, I suggest you do this lastly because if you set the, the mic up controller uh, earlier on in the process, it'll it'll may, it'll mean basically the unit will cheat, try and move around as you set it up, and it can be quite frustrating. Uh, so yeah, so one of the final steps is to turn the, the, the mic controller on. Uh, this is a simple procedure. On the side, there's a little button, uh, the on button, the top, uppermost button. If you long press that, about five seconds, a green light will come on, and the unit will start tracking. And then when you're ready to record, the button below is the one you press. I don't know if you'll be able to see in this light. It's slightly overcast, but at the same time, bright. British weather, eh? Okay. And uh, after you finish the recording, um, if you've got it automatically to set up so that it, it, it sends the recordings off to the Swivel Cloud, which I have, uh, then fair enough. If not, you need to press the little button, uh, digital button, on the iPad that has a little picture of a cloud, and that will send it to the Swivel Cloud, and you'll be able to access it on your desktop. And from there, you get to choose the configuration. I alluded to this initially about how you would set up the actual PowerPoint uh, with the end video production in mind. Uh, so this is your, your chance to choose where you want to put the video and, and how you want to produce it. Uh, I suggest you save it in the cloud as well and, and, and then produce. At the configuration stage, choose the way you want to put it, video inside the slide or side by side, and away you go. Um, lastly, you can either produce it so that you export the file to your hard drive or uh, a new feature which is really nice is that you get an embed code and you cut and paste that into your virtual learning environment. Ours in this case is, is Blackboard. In this particular recording I'm making, I've chosen to have the screen of the iPad facing me as I'm using it as a prompt. Uh, if you were going to actually do what I'm advocating in this uh, video and uh, and use this as a, as a mirroring device, then you won't need that, and you can just use the uh, television or the projector as a means of uh, finding out where you are in your presentation. Uh, I say this because the camera is better on the rear-facing camera is better on the iPad, and you get a better quality video than the one that's being shown to you currently. Hope you found this of use, and uh, thanks.